Hello, my friends. How are you today? Welcome to another episode of 30 Albums for 30 Years, 1964 through 1994. I am your host, Jay Sweet. In today's program, we're going to check out the record, The Animals, Animal Tracks, the U.S. release on MGM Records, recorded between July of 1964 through June of 1965. It's a bit of a compilation album and released on September of 1965 so let's search for our inner animal and get into it the animals animal tracks so as you may recall we did discuss the animals on this program in season one episode 22 for their self-titled release but I'm going to get a little bit more into the history today. The animals were feral English blues appreciators and musicians from Newcastle, England. They first came together as the Alan Price Rhythm and Blues Combo with vocalist Eric Burden, Alan Price on organ and keyboards, Hilton Valentine on guitar, John Steele on drums, and Chaz Chandler on bass. The group then changed their name to the Animals shortly after their formation. The name may have come from their wild stage antics or as a tribute to Burden's friend, Animal Hog. But it really makes no difference because the Animals are a great name for a band. So, 1964, the group moves to London in the aftermath of Beatlemania and showcases highly fueled versions of African-American blues and R&B based on the strength of Eric Burden's vocal prowess. In 1964, they had their most significant success with a cover version of The House of the Rising Sun, which went to number one on the Billboard charts. And for the next two years, with the help of super producer Mickey Most, the band continued to produce hit versions of cover songs. Although it was not quite to the level of hysteria caused by the Beatles' arrival in America, the Animals also first appeared in the U.S. in 1964, to a great deal of excitement, and included an appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show, like the Beatles. And for a while, it looked like the Animals and the Dave Clark Five would be the two most significant threats to the Beatles. But of course, they couldn't match the Beatles' legacy. I mean, who could? And then... Problems started to happen within the band. In 1965, Alan Price was the first to leave the zoo that housed the animals. He went on to a successful solo career as the leader of the Alan Price set. Mick Gallagher replaced Price, and then for some time it was Dave Rowberry. In 1965, the animals signed a new record deal with MGM Records, and this ended their association with Mickey Most. And the animals at this point were not playing well together off stage. It seemed apparent that the members were looking for a new litter to be a part of. Burden seemed destined for a solo career, which he had. And Chaz Chandler became more interested in producing and managing, which he did for groups like Slade and then later for Jimi Hendrix. In 1965, the animals released two albums called Animal Tracks. The UK version was the group's second studio album, which did quite well in the UK. It charted at number six. And the US version, the one that we are discussing today, was more of a compilation of singles and B-sides recorded between 1964 and 1965. In 1966, the group broke up, and Eric Burden repurposed the name for his new band, Eric Burden, and the Animals, which lasted from 1966 to 1968. The group was a critical force in the development of psychedelic rock. The original Animals did reunite several times after their breakup, and the original Animals were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994. 